Okay, they're off to the planet. Let's uh, roll this up. I don't know why. Let me roll this up. I'm waiting for food. I'm over here to Del Taco. This is pretty close to where I work. But while I'm here, it has nothing to do with work. I'm going to speed this up because I like to do this within 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to talk about two author tubers. It's kind of a response, but it's also something I wanted to do anyway. This is going to be about trolls, trolls, shills, and socks. Trolls, shills, and socks. I'm trying to improvise, as a matter of fact, as I do this. I wanted to buy some sock puppets. Sock puppets. I'm part of a conspiracy forum, but instead of what I can do is I'm going to get a tiny bit gross. A tiny bit gross. And I'm going to self-publicize. Uh, Here, body. You could buy this online at lulu.com. Eddie Corona. Eddie Corona. And Cretans. Okay, one of the author tubers out there is like, every time you talk, there's different kind of trolls, you're promoting your book. Yeah, I'm promoting my book. My book's very unique, though. My book's meant for conspiracy theorists. At the end of Kira Body, uh, the protagonist is Donovan Cobb, and his mistress is a Japanese lady named Sakata Tara. I'm not going to open up the book to where and how and fuck and all that shit. But they're on the North Tower on 9-11 and they survive. I thought that was neat. I thought that was neat, man. And then uh, Cretans is the book after Cure Body. And it kind of expands a little bit about how shit went down. And obviously... You know, this whole thing about Osama bin Laden and training people on monkey bars. That's not what these guys, uh, you know, that's not what happened. So, uh, I'm over here trying to untie my shoe. And I don't want to mention the author tubers by name, but I can take off my sock. If I can, it's very difficult. I can take off my sock. It just... The, 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 the laces are on there pretty tight. I mean, oh, yes. So we're going to talk about trolls, shills, and socks. Here's a sock right here. Here's a sock. I'm on a conspiracy forum, and here's a sock. Okay? So let's start with trolls, which I ordered a book recently, and it's been delivered. I just haven't picked it up. I have eBay, so they have tracking devices. There's two main trolls I know of before the internet came around. Actually, the second one is because the internet came around, but the first troll was the, the troll under the bridge. Okay, and I have this at work. I don't want to harp on this. And I set some of my videos to private because I don't want to be reactionary, okay? If someone's being a troll in my real life, I don't want to be reactionary, but so today an author tuber has troll problems. If you're a writer, you do something good, you're going to have people that troll you. I'm sorry. They call it victim of success. Victim of success. You're successful at writing, now you're a victim because these trolls are out there, man. They got nothing. Okay? So the first troll I know of in life is the troll under the bridge. Okay? You get a bridge. Billy Goat Gruff, I wrote about that in Thermite. I don't have Thermite with me. But you have a troll that, that wants money for passage. And it's not his bridge. He didn't build the bridge. He just showed up. This guy just showed up. So the small Billy Goat goes... And the troll's like, give me money or I'm going to eat you. And the small billy goat is like, uh-uh. I got a big brother. I'll bring him and you eat him. So he brings the bigger brother. Okay, this is the second of three brothers. Same thing. The second brother's like, hey, 
hey, I got an even bigger brother. And the troll that's just sitting under that fucking bridge, he's like, okay, I'd rather eat the bigger brother than you. Now by then, he, he, he kind of uh, went beyond what he should have bargained for. Because that bigger brother, this is the Billy Goat Gruff tail, knocks the shit off the fucking bridge, dude. Because he's that big. Okay? This troll just got greedy and he's like, I'll, I'll eat the bigger fucking, the biggest of the goats. And the biggest of the goats was able to kick his ass. So that's one troll. The troll under the bridge. Now, in internet conspiracy forums, I was part of a conspiracy forum. A troll is someone that follows you, doesn't like you, cannot beat your ideas, he's jealous of you. So I had an author tuber earlier that talked about these trolls, and, and I'm sorry when this happens. I have one at work. I've talked about it a couple times. Then I wind up putting the, the videos to private because I don't want to be reactionary. I want to be proactive about my life. I want people to know what's going on in my life, but you can't let these people dictate your life. And that's just my attitude. So we're gonna leave it at that. We're at six and a half minutes. I wanna talk about shills because those are the three main things you'll deal with if you stay on the conspiracy forum long enough. I'm a truther, by the way, a 9 11 truther. You'll have trolls. You have people that are like, oh, wow, he believes this esoteric uh, teaching. He believes this fringe knowledge, whatever it is. Sasquatch, UFO, uh, whatever it might be. You know, you're going to have something different and you're going to have someone that trolls you. Like, I don't like that guy that believes something different than all the masses, all the sheeple. Okay, you're going to have someone that trolls you. Okay, look at that original person. Let's fuck with that person for not being like all the fucking regular people out here. You know, all these couch potatoes, whatever they are. Right? So you get the shill. Now the, the troll, the shill, the sock is the conspiracy forum archetype. There, there are three archetypes that are negative in this conspiracy forum. The shill is someone paid by the government. Okay? They're going to explain why box cutters strike fear into everyone. And there's no way to, to defeat someone if they have a box cutter. Or tube of, pay, pay, tube of uh, toothpaste on, on, on an airline. Everyone's going to just cower down. They're like deer in the headlights. If someone has a box cutter, you can't defeat them. If someone trains on monkey bars, you can't defeat them. And a shill, most likely paid by the government, the conspiracy forums, a shill's going to go with the status quo. The official story of 9-11 is such, and this fucker is going to ride it to the very end. And that's the shill. You know, I got the sock. Okay, I'm at nine minutes. I got the sock. And uh, the sock is a sock puppet. Okay, I wanted to go to Michael's, but I didn't have time. And buy little eyeballs. Okay, now now what the sock does is create multiple accounts. Now here I am talking to you as Brick Jane, Homer Cocktail, Eddie Corona. Okay, people know who I am online. Let's probably go to Homer, Homer Cocktail Forty Nine. My pseudonym is Brick Jane. I play music as Homer Cocktail, but people know who I am. Now, here's a sock. See, if, uh, imagine eyeballs on a sock. I am a sock. And I agree with this guy. What are you saying? So people create sock accounts. It, it's just a fake persona meant to build up what, what was already there. Okay? Now... I, I didn't get into the other author tuber, but there's another author tuber. I'm at 10 minutes. 
and she says she's ready to give up. And I'm gonna let you get in on something. So am I. She realized she's an author. I know I am too. She's a writer. I am too. I have all these universes devised, but I'll probably write a few more books in my life. I'm pretty sure of it. But I got nothing more to prove. I think she's at the same point, and I'm just guessing. Stephen King almost retired in the 1980s. Okay? He actually officially retired. Then he unretired and wrote many more books. There comes a point where you just don't have anything more to prove. Your first work or your second work. Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein and a couple more books. Mary Shelley. You got nothing more to prove. Don't worry about it. You enjoy writing? Keep writing, man. If it's too much stress, enjoy your life. Okay? 11 minutes, I'm out of here, man. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on. Don't forget to click and subscribe! <laughs>